Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video. We've got a Keep or Sell series coming to you this week. Um, each day, uh, this week, we'll be doing, first starting off with goalkeepers, um, which will be, today's episode is that, which will be quite a short episode compared to the other ones, which are quite long. Your defenders list, your midfielders list, they're, they're, they're a bit more longer than this one, obviously. We're well, only having three goalkeepers. But first things first, if you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, let us know in the comment section below your keeps and sells for obviously our goalkeepers and then as we go through these in the comments uh, you can let us know your squad of keep ourselves because we've been having some transfer streams recently and there's some rogue shouts out there for players that I think should stay but some of you lot think should go. So starting off with the goalkeepers you've got the main man himself Edison. Now before we decide to keep or sell, I think it's pretty obvious which way I'm going to go about this anyway, and which way most City fans will do. But there are rumours that Edison potentially does want to leave Manchester City this season. You've got Al Ittihad there, there coming in from apparently to only £25 million, which I think is, a, is worth a lot more than that, and especially if a Saudi team is coming in for him. So I don't think we should be selling him for that price, but I don't think we, be, we should be selling him as a flat-out standard because Edison is very important into the way that Manchester City build up. He's really important in the way that we play football, and I think it'd be just shooting ourselves in the foot to get rid of him. Now... I've not seen anyone yet be so far gone of, yeah, get rid of Edison. But if he does want to leave, then you kind of got to let him leave. That's the way that Pep runs it. It's the way that City have been running for quite a while now. Players like Leroy Sane, things like that. When you don't want to be here, you're gone. Like uh, it, Bernardo Silva is not wanting to be here. But you, you need sometimes the value back from that. So um, as much as, yes... He might want to leave. Um, he's still one of the best goalkeepers in world football, so the, the price has to be right for him to exit this football club. Um, personally, for me, he's a keep. Uh, I do think, give him a new contract, sort him out wages-wise, I think he should be sound. It's one of these asterisk ones, though, because if he decides he wants to leave, then you've just got to sell him. You've just got to sell him. But he sticks with the keep pile for me because uh like i said he's very very important and he's an incredible goalkeeper yeah he makes errors uh we went for a phase of calling him errorson but that that champions league campaign last year alone is worth a new deal for me um he's not as good as ortega at shot stopping i think we can all agree on that but he's a lot oh well, he's better on the ball um i don't think there's a keeper in world football that's better on the ball now city have been linked with uh, mike minan um, from AC Milan. Now, that that City's looking at their next replacement should Edison decide to leave. But personally, as good as Milan is, I'd prefer to keep Edison. Um, so he's, he's definitely keep. Next up, you've got Ortega. Now, Ortega's a weird one because there is no better second-choice goalkeeper in world football, in my opinion. Ortega is incredible. And what baffles me the most about Ortega is how other fans don't actually rate him that much. I heard people talking about when um, we played Spurs and we brought him on for Edison when Edison got his face injury. And fans were talking about Ortega as if like he's just some backup goalkeeper that is basically a nobody and and, and oh he was quite decent when it's like I think only really city fans give Ortega the respect that he deserves because he's an incredible goalkeeper an absolutely incredible goalkeeper better shot stopper than Edison not as good on, on on the ball as Edison you do lack in that little bit when he starts um, I also do feel like maybe the team is a little bit more comfortable with Edison being at the back there or maybe the, the communication is a little bit better I'm thinking FA Cup Vardial goal kind of thing the communication between keeper and Vardial isn't the best than that um, but obviously that's going to come with someone who isn't always playing in the starting eleven. now Ortega is a player that needs to be starting week in, week out, in my opinion. I think he deserves to be a number one. He shouldn't be um, a number two. He shouldn't be a second-choice goalkeeper. That's how good he is. So in my keep or sell, there's a, again, it's, it's very subjective. But if Ortega wants to stay, 
best believe I'm saying keep. Best believe because the <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna turn down the chance of having two of the best goalkeepers in in the world playing at City. I think I'll take a play something like nineteen or twenty games or something like that this year. And he seems to be pretty happy about that. Um, after the end of the season, he said that he's happy with the amount of games that he got. So why would he want to leave the best club in the world? Um, I personally keep absolutely keep if we can keep all of him. I think that's a major major move for City. A major move. However, I do think it's going to be difficult. And I think there will be teams coming in for him because, end of the day, Stefan Ortega is a really, really good footballer. Um, then, last goalkeeper on the list, potentially one of the most important ones. It is Scott Carson. Now, Scott Carson for, <laughs> is, is, is the weirdest City player you, you can you can get because he doesn't actually play for the football club. The guy has the best job in the world. He gets paid probably 30, 40 grand a week, goes traveling with the squad. He's really, really important as well. And people overlook that. He's so important to this to the city team. You can see it in the documentaries. They're always ringing him in that. The, 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 the morale that he brings this side. Do you know what I mean? He's like, he gives the team all in green links. Like, oh, uh, Carson is just, he's just a, a really, really good person to have around the squad. And then I'm sure he, he's probably decent with helping, um, helping out coaching wise kind of thing. I, I imagine he might want to move into that. Um, we've just kind of, we've just kind of kept holding him for a long time now. And yes, I'm, <laughs> I ain't selling Scott Carson. No chance. A hundred percent keeps. So that's three keeps in this one, but I ain't, I ain't selling Scott Carson. Um, and it doesn't matter anyway because City aren't selling him. They've already tied him down to another year extension, and I think it's a good move. I think it's a good move. Again, he's another keeper that probably other fans are probably looking at going, why have they still got Scott Carson? They'll probably give us another charge for that. Why have they still got him? Something dodgy must be going on. But in reality, he's just really good to have around the, the, the team. Um, really helps out in, in, in the morale sense. And then, other than that, he, he don't play for us. I'd love it. I would have loved it to just bring him on at the end of the season. Um, we did that a few years ago, and it was mint. I think he came out against Newcastle. Um, ended up saving a penalty, I think, but I think it still went in. Um, so we could chalk that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, well, it's got Carson, lad. Um, but yeah, that's that's um, that's that. That's all we free keepers. Like I say, a shorter episode on this one. Tomorrow's episode will be quite, uh, well, will be just more normal. We'll be in the defenders list and we can go through each one of the defenders and decide which ones we keep and which ones we'd sell. I'd throw Kyle Walker into the goalkeeper list, but to be fair, I think that might be a bit disrespectful to Kyle Walker. Do you know what I mean? I think uh, his goalkeeping days are up for now. So um, we can't put him on the goalkeeping list, so we'll speak about Kyle Walker tomorrow. But I appreciate you all. If you haven't already, do us a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Keep our cell. Back again tomorrow with the defenders. See you in a bit. <laughs>